new seventh hole here at Port Rush. Visually, it's quite an intimidating tee shot. You've got Big Nelly over there on the right. You've got another bunker over there on the left. And um, you know the, big, the the bigger hitters will be able to carry the the first bunker on the right, but um, you know this second bunker on the left is going to be in play. So you know for a long hole with a driver in your hand, it's actually quite a narrow landing area. Really, the way the hole shapes up, you probably want to aim it up the left side and, and try and cut it off there. Um, and you know, if you hit a good, if you get a good tee shot away, you, you're gonna uh, you're gonna have a chance to go for this green and two. Visually, it's spectacular. Um, you know how they've cut this hole through the dunes. Um, you know they've they've made it look as if this hole's been here since the course was built. Today, with the wind like this, uh, this this bunker probably isn't carryable from the from the back tees. You can hit it in it for sure. Uh, so you know you're sort of trying to hit something just left of it. But then you know that makes the set that makes the second shot today very very tough because it's a layup. You know today with it into the wind, I just tried to hit a two iron up there in different conditions. You can go for this green and two, but today it's really about you know just putting yourself in position. There's something about this place. It's very special. It's always been a, it's always been a special place for me and for us because I have those memories of my dad playing here when I was a kid. And the thing that I always remember is, you know, we're driving from home and you, you get to the crest of the hill just before Port Rush, and you know, you, all you see, you're overlooking the golf course, the Irish Sea. I first met Darren Clark here when I was 10 years old uh, on my birthday. So. I, um, it's been a really cool place for me and uh, I've, ha I've had so many great memories here. Yeah, 121 back into the wind, um, pins up the back. I'm, I'm with this strong wind, I'm hitting a, a little chippy seven iron from 120. I haven't done that in a while. A uh, little left, I think it's on the green though. When you grow up so close to great courses like this, you sort of take them for granted. And then you go and you play all over the world and you come back and you just realize how good it is. For a par five, it's a good green. You've got a lot of options where to put the, the hole locations. Um, most of the green feeds into the, it feeds into the middle. Um, but you have to get it online. If you go offline at all, it sort of it repels the ball away from the green. I think some of these back pins are going to be very difficult for, for the open, uh, especially this one in the back left, because that, that drop off over there on the left side is, uh, is quite severe. So, um, you know, a lot of good options for, for hole locations. And, you know, it, it should be, a, you know, it should be a, a chance for most of the guys to, to make a birdie.